I'm Gemma. Welcome to the Create Studio channel. Glad to see you here. Today we've got a really fun project involving cork. In fact, all month long in January, we are focusing on cork as a creative material and a material that is in our environment. And we want to know how it's used, how it gets recycled, how it is even made. So we're going to be focusing on that throughout the month and we'll have fun craft projects to go along with it. Today's craft project is making a little cork snow person. This is really easy and lots of fun. For this project, you're going to want to have a little bit of cardboard, a couple of um, corks, two, a bottle cap or some kind of, you could even make it out of cardboard, but if you happen to have a bottle cap, that's great. A little piece of fabric and some paint. And then to put it all together, we'll use hot glue because that's really fast. So I'm going to make one real quick with you and I can't wait to show you how it goes. Here we go. So I'm going to take my cardboard piece as my base and I'm going to add my one cork. I'm going to put a little hot glue. This will be the cork body, so I'm just going to glue that down. Then I'm going to put a little more hot glue. I already took one cork and cut it in half, and I just used a regular kitchen knife for that. Of course, that's an adult job, but you can just cut your cork right in half, and it should cut pretty easily. And then I'm going to be putting the cork on sideways. So I've got to put that next. That'll be the face part of our a little glue, face part of our snow person, and then I'm going to, I put it all together and I painted last. Then I'm going to put the hat or the bottle cap next, so I'm just kind of adding my layers. And I have a few here, but I'll pick this yellow one. That looks like a, a little beret, so it could be a French cork person if you didn't want it to be a holiday cork person. And then one more dab of hot glue on the top of that um, bottle cap, and then I'm putting in the cork. And my cork, I think, cut a little crooked, so it naturally makes a tip in the hat, which I like. Now I'm gonna paint it really quick, and I have some just some acrylic white paint on hand. I have a lot of glue strings. And I'm gonna paint the face, I probably won't do the tidiest job while we're here together because I just want to get the point across. And I'm getting in the nooks and crannies of the cork person. I'm being careful not to get the cardboard, but you could. You could definitely paint your cardboard and then it would be uh, a snowy scene. And the acrylic craft paint covers really nicely, so you could probably get by with just a single coat of that. All right, I went around back. Now I'm going to do the face, the front, as I always oh, started already. And actually, this cork cut in half gives him a longer face in the back. The cork that I made um, before, I actually cut into a quarter. So you can play around with how wide you want um, the piece of cork to be that you use as the face. You may want to make it a little smaller so it's not as big a piece, or you can also have have it facing this way to be the front. I chose to just do it flush. So we've got that. Let's put, oh, I had a little piece of fabric. So I got a little piece of um, plaid. I think something patterned is fun and easy. Normally I wouldn't assemble while things are wet, but I want to show you kind of the gist of what we're doing. We tuck that in there. And then we'll just, for now, because it's damp, we'll just leave it across the, oh, that looks pretty cute, just as it is. So then I'm gonna take a very little brush and I'm gonna just do some dabs of, some dots, some dot dabs for my snow person face, a couple of eyes, and then mimicking the coal of the, that's used in the traditional snowman, a lump of coal or pieces of coal. So we've got that. And then the last thing I wanna do is with a different brush, since I don't have it clean, I'm gonna add, let's see, 
I'm going to add just a little bit of orange paint that I had just to make it a and kind of string it out sideways to make a nose. So that is our cork snow person. Of course, you could paint your hat and make it a top hat, a black top hat. You can take it any direction you want. This is just the basic idea for getting started. Hope you like this craft idea. We'll look forward to seeing you next week with something else that we do with cork. In the meantime, have fun creating. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.